Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I'm going to take a few minutes and demonstrate one of our latest capabilities within our ClickSense February 2021 release, Integrated Data Cataloging. So ClickSense SaaS, either enterprise or business, is now going to provide a data-first experience, if you will, directly from the ClickSense Hub. It offers a initial set of data cataloging capabilities that will be the foundation for additional related functionality in the future. This integrated data cataloging is going to allow users to spend less time finding data and more time getting value out of it. In this initial release, users can now add supported data files to spaces directly from the toolbar. And once that data is uploaded, a user can view or assign tags, alternative business names, and other metadata properties. They also can perform data profiling as well as view sample data, making it easy to find, classify, and determine which data is best to use within a new or existing app. Let me give you a brief demonstration. Okay, to start out, I'm in the ClickSense Hub, and this could be either ClickSense Enterprise or ClickSense Business. And just to demonstrate what I meant about a data first experience, you now have your data assets available to you directly on your homepage if you want. Now this homepage can be completely customized and I'm not gonna go into that in this particular video, but if I wanted just to view any of the data assets immediately that I wanted to create my apps from or see what's available in my enterprise, I can look at it right here. So I can click view all and it brings me directly to all of the data assets at a larger screen. I can select any one of these assets and view more information or create an app from them. But to start out, let's just add a new data asset. In this case, I'm gonna click Add New. And you can see directly from the toolbar, I can select Data File. And these are all the supported file types for this initial release. I can choose a space. I'm gonna put it in the Retro Gaming space. Click Browse. Navigate to my data folder. And here, we're just gonna select a New Date, Getting Started Data, and click Upload. Okay, once that's been uploaded, it's been placed into that particular area, and you can see it's available here. The submenu here allows me to see details, properties. I can add this to a collection. Uh, I can create an app from the data or profile the data, or I can go in and view a larger view of those particular uh, data properties. If I go back and I just click on edit, I can give it a user-friendly business name here. I'll just call this, uh, call it video game sales. Can provide a description. We can provide um, tags for easy identification and searching. And then also we could add custom properties. Some of these properties are listed here under the add property button. Uh, right now, these are purely informational but they will have some function in the future, such as driving behavior. So for example, if I flag something as sensitive information, perhaps it will mask that data uh, when it's displayed within the app. I can also profile this data and look at the various metadata attributes. So here we have name, data type, distinct values, null values, etc. I can choose which columns I would like to view or not. I can also switch this profile view and look at sample data. And then finally, going back to the data set view, if I'd like, I can go in here and create an app from this data. Navigate to the apps, and there it is. Okay, guys, that's all I have. I appreciate your time. If you're interested in experiencing this for yourself, just log on to your SaaS tenants, whether it's ClickSense Enterprise or ClickSense Business, and you can begin using this feature right away. If you don't have a ClickSense Enterprise or Business subscription, you can always click Try for Free, fill out the appropriate information in the form, and you can get a 30-day trial. Have a good one. Take care.